Joining us right now, this is TV47 Daily Report with me, Victor Muyakane. Now, in about six months, the new airport terminal will be complete at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, which, which the government hopes will push up the number of travellers using the facility. Transport CS Kipchumba Murkomen now says that his ministry and the Ministry of Defence will work together on a charter that streamlines traveller handling from the rising cases of harassment. And as Hibak Saeed now reports, the setting up of the charter will act as a one-stop shop to track down and curb corruption. When COVID struck, Flights to Mukdisho from Nairobi by the national carrier were halted due to, among many other things, the onset of travel restrictions that debilitated movement across the globe. Today marks a change in this decision. Where three KQ flights will be operational weekly between Kenya and Mukdisho, but jitters still run high. Today the chairman of Kenya Revenue Authority is here, sitting next to you. The chairman of Kenya Airport Authority is sitting next to you. You must speak about corruption at the airport. A few people who in the process of uh, doing this job, they want to take advantage of uh, the uh, requirement to observe certain security operations to harass our customers. Passenger harassment has been hampering the use of the international airport in the capital, discouraging tourist and cargo movement that could significantly boost the economy. In that direction, we have a consultation ongoing between KRA, which is the Ministry of Treasury, and uh, Ministry of Interior and ourselves to make sure that we complete the adoption of the airport charter, Jomo Kenyatta International Airport Charter which will demonstrate the working relationship between Kenya Airports Authority and the other agents who are operating here. Moreover, the number of travellers using JKIA has grown by 9% to 11 million, a number that C.S. Murkomen believes could be improved even further. Let us seize this moment to deepen our diplomatic relations and cultivate closer cooperation between Kenya and Somalia through initiatives that promote dialogue and mutual understanding we can build a more cohesive and prosperous East Africa community. This as the Somali government appeals for the easing of visa requirements for its nationals, a matter that has derailed collaboration and corporate connections. However, this vision to be fully realized, it's imperative that both Somalia and Kenya revisit the visa processing and access to the efficient services both at the airport and also visa processing process. And as for the expansion plans for JKIA? In six short months, this terminus is going to be changed into a world-class terminus. This as the Cabinet Secretary for Transport and Roads, Kipchumba Murkomen, says that there is a charter between ministries to ensure that passengers are not harassed while within JKIA. Ibak Said, for TV47 and